Hey guys, Redneck Wannabe here. I hope all is well with you and your family today. So this is a video that I have debated for over a year to uh, to do, and that's just because, I don't know, I don't know why, I guess. Maybe I was afraid that I would catch grief or somebody would, you know, whatever. Um, but I am no doctor. <laughs> don't even want to, don't even want to pretend that I want to be a doctor. Um, but I can just give you what's what's worked for me and how it's worked for me. But it has been almost almost five years, going on five years, that I have not been sick, literally. Um, I may have had a headache here or there or a stuffy nose that lasted a day, and I'll get into that here in just a sec. But for almost five years, I have not been sick. And... Um, you know, I think a lot. What a lot of it has to do with just how I eat. You know, I try to eat good, and, and uh, you know, just without all the the garbage. But my daily routine is I get up at 4:30 in the morning, and I'm usually in bed about uh, 10 o'clock. No, I don't. I, I mean, it's sometimes it's later, but by 10, I'm usually in bed. And some people ask me, you know, why do I, why do I, why I get up so early in the morning? And it's just because I, I need my quiet time. If I don't have my quiet time in the morning, I can't have it at night. And it's just, it, you know, it's just, it just doesn't work. So, um, you know, so I do get up early. And by Thursday, Friday, man, I'm dragging. So sometimes I can get a nap on Thursday and Friday. Sometimes I can't. Um, but uh, over the last week, or the last few weeks anyway, um, you know, sometimes you, you just don't feel bad, but man, you just don't feel right, you know, just kind of a headache and just, just didn't feel good. And, um, so it's been, you know, like I said, almost five years, but I happened to run across a guy and I, th I if I remember right, his name was Mercola, M-O-R-C-O-L-A. And he, and I don't remember if, if I read it or if it was a podcast or whatever, um, but he had talked about how cancer and sickness cannot live in your body in a high pH environment. And he was just talking about, uh, you know, taking baking soda and water and drinking that and getting your pH up. And uh, he said in those, in those sorts of environments, you know, cancer and sickness just can't, can't live. And so I thought, you know, what do I have to lose? So, so one day when I started to get sick, I took an eighth of a teaspoon of baking soda, put it in a cup of water, drank it, and um, you know I did that three, four, five, maybe six times a day. I don't I don't remember what it was that I started, but I've um, and I was able to get my pH up. And and also what I did was I went by the health food store and I bought a. You can buy these little pH strips that you can put them in your mouth uh, to get a reading, or you can pee on them to give get a, a more accurate a more accurate reading so I bought those and what I found was every time I started to get sick my pH was relatively low and then I would drink the baking soda and water and I'd get my pH up and I think the highest I've ever had my pH was like eight eight and a half something like that I don't remember what it was but anyway the last couple of weeks um, I was just man I was, I was dragging I just you know was not feeling good and I just kept on Oh, put, sorry for the for the stability here, but uh, just I just kept putting off drinking it just because I thought, well, I'll shake it off. But uh, so anyway, I, uh, I I peed on a stick, and my my pH was like I don't know six, six and a half, something like that. So I started drinking, um, and I I only did it four times. You know, once in the morning or breakfast lunch, dinner, right before I went to bed. And so I, I drank the, uh, the pH and I don't know what I got my pH up to, but I did that for about a day and a half. And man, I tell you what, it just knocked it out like that. And so I know some people are shaking their heads thinking, man, this guy, you know, what a, what a loser, what a dork. And yeah, I, I'm a dork. <laughs> I admit it. I probably am a loser. <clears throat> I am a loser too. But, uh, but anyway, all I can tell you is it works for me. And as soon as I get my pH up, uh, I mean, I kid you not, in almost five years, I have not been sick. And when I do start to get a little, you know, something in my throat or, or stuffy nose or whatever, I'll start drinking baking soda and I'll shoot my pH up and, man, you know, it, it's gone. Next day, I wake up and I'm, I'm gone. Or I mean, it's, it's gone. So, anyway... I hope this helps, and I know there's going to be some, uh, you know, some naysayers out there, and 
you know, for those, you know, it just works for me. Uh, you know, uh, I only play a dock in my truck and to myself, but not to you. So uh, I hope it helps. And if you get sick, just try it. What do you have to lose? All right, y'all take care. Bye.